I shall call you Simba, King of the Lions. Good morning, guys. It is January 11th, 2016, and it is a Wednesday. She is off to go drop that car off and get a rental, and I am just about ready to go to class. I've got English comp, calculus, and yoga today. It looks like it's the beginning of the end for all the snow. Poor snowman. His time has come and pass. Yet, it's that time of the day. We gotta go get work done. I have a theory about this light up here. The left side of the traffic goes first, and then there's a seven second delay, and then this switches. If you time it right, you no, never have to stop. You can always keep going. That building right there is Brookside. It has my English, my business, and my math class. And ironically, it's like a 10 minute walk from the rest of the campus. So it's a real bitch to get back and forth. Well, he seems like a lot of fun. Should be a good year. We she seems no nonsense. Should be an interesting year. Sounds like she knows what she's talking about. She cares about it. Now we're on our way to go pick up some stuff at home. Treats, bread, peanut you know, I'm still getting used to this whole thing of pointing the camera at you and walking and talking. So, it's interesting to see how people react to it. I've had people ask me, what do you do? I think the most common question I get is, do you want to make money with it? And it's not really the goal of this. It's just kind of to have fun with it. Change of plans. We're on our way home to get something to eat. Change of plans. I'm going out to get some lunch with Devontae and Josh. I wonder what we're going to get to eat today. I am hungry. I haven't eaten any breakfast at all. And this may even serve as like a business meet. I'm going to stop calling a meeting and just say I want to get some ideas out there. Find, find where we're weak at and improve it. Ah, here we go. Devante, where are you at? Devante, come on, Devante Robinson. Let's go get some food. Ooh. Yeah. Man, I didn't prepare to eat no food. Where would you be if you wasn't in America? Like if we got to choose? Yeah. I'm kind of feeling South Africa right now. <laughs> Away from all the cold. Mm -hmm. Maybe even the Bahamas. I go towards the cold weather. I hate summer. Wow. <laughs> How about you, Devante? Um, yeah, I like um, probably Jam well, Jamaica. Is Jamaica America? Mm -mm. No. Yeah, I'll, I'll be in Maybe Jamaica. Or less. I like I like all I like it um warm all the time. Oh, shit. Like I like it 60 to 80 degrees all the time. I can handle that. I just don't like above 80. Nah, I yeah, like, nah. No. I feel <laughs> like the summers around here. Oh my gosh, they're bad. While recording in Chick Fil A, the manager stopped us and asked if we were recording, and I said yes. Politely, she asked to not include that footage, but she gave us a card to a manager and gave us the opportunity to do a behind-the-scenes look at Chick-fil-A and how it works. You guys may get to see a look at the inside of it. Moving to a new area, there's something special about when you find out somebody used to live in the same area as you. I'm originally from Nova, and so when I hear people who lived there... When I hear people who were from Nova and they're down here, it's like an instant connection. You're like, oh, no way. Even if they may have lived like 40, 50 miles away from me, it's still that like instant bond. You're where I'm from. You understand me <laughs> on some crazy level. The 
seeing what's up in Burnett. My fault, I didn't mean to make you come out back all this way just to go back. What you will be doing is actually doing this. You will actually be doing the Thank content you. that we're that basically doing the things that we're, we're suggesting. Another productive day. Still got some more stuff to do. Exercise and editing. Maybe even some homework and go to bed. My mom got in a rental car because something happened to her car. I think it was like a car accident, somebody hit her. And I drove by her spot today and I saw her parking spot taken. I'm like, who took our spot? Who was dumb enough? And then I realized that this is the rental car. We'll get you a better shot. That's the rental car. Headed back to campus. I got a couple more things still love to do. You know, I would be lying if I didn't say I would be a little bit stressed out between taking six classes, a vlog, and a web series. So the only way to combat that is to work as hard as I possibly can. <sighs> I mean, it's uploading this vlog. Gotta get it done, gotta get it done, gotta get it done, 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 done. That means then going home and working out, then eating, then going to bed. Which bed is aka two hours of reading. <laughs> I came back to campus for another about hour and a half to get some more work done. You know, just spending that little bit of time helped me really get it done. Don't be afraid to go put in a little bit of extra work, even though how frustrating it is. I love vlogging, but sometimes my software pisses me off. And it's supposed to be good software too. So even though some things are supposed to, even though things never go perfect or planned, just stick with it. 